So the purpose of this video is to go through um, how to send a string over UDP uh, basically to a device and then get a string back and it's something that uh, it's become um, you know really uh, so, uh, something that's sought after um, especially with the rise of uh, devices like Arduinos and uh, where you can have small wireless IP devices um, you know and then it, it, it's just something that uh, the, the whole internet of things is, is kind of based on and there's at times um, it, it's very difficult to find easy examples okay so uh, I just decided to put this uh, together um, kind of as an intro uh, for people so what I have here is a Arduino Uno and an Ethernet shield and this would be seen heavily as uh, a fundamental um, you know introduction or introductory um, kit or whatever people want to call it you know for for someone that wants to uh, uh, have an external device they want it to uh, be wired up with some kind of sensors and transducers and motors etc and then they want uh, this easy interface um, to their PCs so the Arduino Uno is well known for um, its easy ability to be used as a, as a serial device but that's not really um, something that uh, should be used um, in, a, in any to any great extent because it's very very slow okay so uh, what I've picked um, as, a, as an interface um, I've, I've picked basically Visual Studio and I want to cover um, the Arduino section of code which is here and then I want to uh, focus on uh, obviously sending the actual UDP string from Visual Studio out to um, the Arduino and then getting back uh, a string uh, as an acknowledgement and then from that uh, someone can build upon the logic uh, once they're able to send the string and then receive the string they can throw in if conditions and, and, and so on you know so I, I basically I'll get down to it right so I, I have a form in Visual Studio and I'm hoping that the audience here um, will have some understanding of Visual Studio and how to just set up a new project and so on it's, it's not too big a deal but um, this is my form so a really simple design I have a button and I have a text box this button once it's clicked will send a string then the string that's sent back from the external Arduino device uh, will be displayed in this text box. Okay, so uh, the only um, event I have occurring here, only method, uh, it comes from the send button click event. Right, and the only extra addition outside of the norm here is the system.net.sockets. So um, you'll see many examples on setting up uh, a TCP client server etc I'm not going to get into any of that this is go just going to be very very simple uh, so I'm just going to send the string going to send it to a specific place and then it's going to be sent back right so no connections or anything like that that can cause mishaps okay so uh, my device is connected over a network so here I have the Ethernet connection and then this is just uh, being used um, to power my device this this USB connection here and this is also made really to primarily make downloads to the board but I'm just using it to power in this case okay so basically because I have sockets I set up a new socket right and I make sure that the protocol is UDP then what I have to do is I have to specify a uh, an IP address that I'm sending my string to and also the port then I create a string and here I just literally have hello right so basically then I create a byte and I I'm going to send that so the bytes are going to be sent uh, basically over UDP okay so we won't go down to too much deeper we don't really need to so with a socket you can literally just send out the bytes that you want okay so we already know that we're sending out our bytes which is here which contains hello right 
<coughs> and the encoding is defined here and then you see this this variable here endpoint so we've already established our IP address and we've already established our port so we're going to send out the following bytes which is this string broken down and then we're going to send it off here so it's very very easy so far right and then basically we're just literally going to um, put, put I suppose a condition in place where we can actually receive all in the one go okay so we've created uh, basically a placeholder where we're going to have our, our bytes that we know we're getting back right and then what we're going to do is we're literally just going to wait for that to occur okay we're going to see how many we get and then basically what we're going to do is because we could get back um, X amount of bytes or a, a large packet or whatever else we're only going to break down a certain amount of it okay so that's very much the meaning of this line here and then what we're going to do is just translate it into breaking it down into a string and effectively then we're going to literally just populate the text of the send text send text text box okay <laughs> right so now we're going to focus on the Arduino side so basically the outside of the norm for if you if you're looking for the uh, the standard um, Arduino UDP um, Ethernet um, libraries uh, basically you have this Ethernet UDP header file you have to include that then the next part is you just need to put down some kind of unique MAC address for your device if you're dealing with something at home it's not going to be that big a deal but if you go out into the external world you really want to hope that it is unique uh, so effectively I've just decided to put down an actual IP address and um, that's uh, that's suited with my network right so most people have 192.168.1.1 for a router I'm the same very much so I've given this device then actually a, a port to listen on right so effectively then we start getting into this uh, concept of um, basically bytes uh, coming in so what's coming in and then what's going out so we are going to send in hello and that's going to get read and then we're going to spit something back which is acknowledged okay so we want acknowledged effectively to come up here once we've sent off hello all right so basically that's the main thing that you need to know in the back of your mind right so we're going to literally uh, in the setup you kind of initialize um, I suppose the, the Ethernet uh, the Ethernet function of the device and you it's given its MAC address and an IP address at the moment and then you actually assign it to say right we're actually going to start listening as well also on a particular port okay so then you get into the actual loop of what occurs over and over and over right so basically um, you're going to get in a particular packet right and then if the packet size is you know anything more than nothing right and that's the thing that's very very important uh, you basically take in the packet right <coughs> and effectively from there you're also going to be able to read in the actual the IP address that sent you the packet and then the port that actually sent you the packet as well okay so you read in the content but you also take in right with the UDP packet and um, you're always going to have and um, this is who sent it and this is the port that it was sent on as well okay and basically in the actual application here in the background you're going to automatically have because we open that socket and the socket is there to send and the socket is there to receive so we open the socket for a second right and that socket is going to still be open to listen back okay so basically what we do is we send out then some form of reply once that has occurred and if you see reply buffer had acknowledged broken down in some form of a character array okay and then basically we just literally we stop our sending right and we have a delay here to allow some form of, of I suppose realignment or, or 
uh, to get the system fully digesting everything again.